Hi guys, welcome back to my zine, your digital fashion magazine. Today we're back with a video game virtual lookbook, but this time we're actually styling the clothes in real life. This video is sponsored by Must Hat and I was fascinated when I discovered what they're doing. Must Hat is a refashion platform that sells unique, high quality, upcycled pieces. They partner with brands, artisans, laboratories, and designers who through creative upcycling processes give a new life to textile waste such as pre-owned clothing, leftover fabrics, dad stock clothing. I've always wanted my zine to express a bunch of different styles and not just be a reflection of my own personal style. So this lookbook I feel like is the first time where I'm actually really getting out of my comfort zone. So if you'd like to see the diversity of styles on my zine, let me know. And if you want to buy something out of Must Hat, you have a special discount code. Enter Maya for Must Hat for 10% off until the end of 2022. All their pieces are unique and handcrafted, mostly in Italy, and I would love to see if you get something for there, so definitely DM me. Well, let's get into the video. Let's go! Okay, so for the first outfit, I'm feeling like wearing a denim masterpiece, if you know me, I know I love denim on denim. So for the top, I'm gonna go with something simple, this white one will do. And for the jeans, let's just pick these. Now for the key element, look at all of these! These garments are made exclusively from vintage products handcrafted with use of leftovers and surplus. This designer mixes street style with vintage to create new effortless relaxed ways of luxury and I am personally obsessed with this jacket. That is a jacket, but also kind of a blouse. Let's just go with that. Okay, so for bags, I love this one it reminds me of a fashion influencer that i follow on instagram called vanelli melly i feel like this would fit her wardrobe so well i love the gray leather with the green pattern the jewel handles i feel like i can wear this in day or night in casual or elegant outfit despite the size this was made from a glittery gold and green japanese kimono belt and a rough military leather jacket the shoulder straps come from an old horse brittle isn't it more interesting with the pieces have so much history and purpose to them i don't know why i'm getting so hyped but i just find it so cool now for shoes i am going with these black platforms that are my go-to summer sandals i love them they give me a tiny bit more of height and they basically go well with everything Yippee! now for the second outfit why don't we travel to japan Let's go with this pink vest and with these baby pink corduroy flared pants. These are both from my mom, so two upcycle points for me for that. But the king of this party will have to be one of these tailor-made printed vests. I love them and I am still thinking of different ways to style them. I'm gonna choose this one. They're produced by reusing dead stock fabrics and other scraps and this one is actually double faced so I can wear it on both sides. I love that it doesn't have a bottom, but it has this little thing to tie. It makes it a lot different from what we're usually used to seeing and you know I like to experiment. So if you're like me and you are obsessed with Japanese prints and Japanese art, these are your go-to. Just get ready. We're starting to get outside of my comfort zone. I'm sticking to my simple white top. For the pants, this is a hard choice. I love all of them, but I think I'm gonna go with these ones. They're called Cirque du Soleil, which I feel like is a perfect name because they are hand-painted, illustrating the liveliness and activities of the circus. I find this to be so unique and the colors are so beautifully chosen. So this is definitely a yes. And then I think I'm gonna layer something on top of my top just to spice it up a little bit. This vintage cashmere sweater was made in Italy and I definitely think this wouldn't be something I would be drawn to at first sight, but I wanna try it out because it looks super soft. So let's put that on. We are going to layer even more. Why don't we add another pattern on top? I think I'm going to risk even more by layering maybe a jacket or another shirt on top. Let's see the options. Um, but I do appreciate this pattern in the image so much that I really want to try it on. I do know it's pattern on pattern, but we're riding a maximalism wave, so just let me do my thing. The second hand jacket was hand painted and inspired by the tropical Galapagos island fauna and flora. And I. Let me know what you think of this outfit. I think it's just kind of all over the place, but kind of really cool. For the shoes, I'm just going with my black loafers. Yeah, I think you could call these loafers. They go well with everything, so let's just choose that. Yippee! 
Moving on into the fourth outfit, let's do a beige slash brown one. Let's go with the pants and let's stick to something simple. So I'm gonna go with these beige ones. And then for the top, hmm, I just really want to get out of my comfort zone today. Let's go with this shirt. It was upcycled from a vintage precious tablecloth. And the brand then hand embroidered the different designs on it. I am actually going to use my glasses for this outfit because I feel like it gives it an even more serious classic lady vibe. And then for purses, mm, okay, let's go with this one. This bag is upcycled from old rescued carpets and kilns and that sock vegetable dyed leather. The designer managed to recover all of those parts that are still healthy or at least aged well. And I think it makes it look more fun while challenging my creativity. Yippee! Moving on into outfit number five now. And I think this is going to be Maybe one of your guys' favorite. Let's go with some collar here. So let's pick these purple pants. They were actually for my mom from when she was pregnant for me. So another recycling point for me. And then basic white top again. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, next time I would probably choose a more elaborated button up or something else. But I was a little bit too basic in this choice. I have to admit it. For the key piece, it's kimono time. I've liked to wear kimono since I was, I don't know, 12. I used to have a black one with fringes and then a dark blue one. And I remember I'd go to my fangirl era concerts and then thinking I was a fashion icon. Fast forward seven years later and that hasn't quite changed. So let's go with this one. I feel like it goes well with the purple tone of the pants. This is a pure silk upcycled kimono dyed with walnut husk designed by hand with the technique of batik. To finish this look off, I am going even more outside of what I'm used to wearing and adding this necklace. It's not a discreet one, but I love this collection because I used to use a lot of aluminium can tabs to do a bunch of necklaces and keychains when I was younger, so this is almost sort of nostalgic to me. This necklace can be washed in water without any contraindications, and the crochet work on it is made from pure cotton. I use a coloring technique used powder coating, which is solvent free and makes use of electrostatics. I don't know if this for you is very nerdy, but I feel that it's so fun to know how things were actually made. And it might give us ideas on how to upcycle our items. Yippee! Now we are going into the last outfit. So let's play one last time and let's stick to the browns and grays and greens maybe. From all of these, I think this one is my favorite. And then for skirts, that's where the upcycling is entering. This skirt right here reminds me of something my mom would wear a couple years ago. It's embroidered with fabric sequins using leftovers of cotton and silk that were hand sewn by local seamstresses. So I'm using that and then I felt like pushing more of the green of the skirt, so I layered a vest on top. Again, if you watch my other lookbooks, you know that this vest used to be from my grandpa's hunting era. So shout out to my grandpa for giving me this vest that I actually just found and dropped, but let's ignore that fact. I really like seeing the feminine skirt look with the very rough uh, hunting vest on. I also put on a ponytail. And yeah, guys, I really hope you like this lookbook. I made it on purpose to try new things out and challenge myself. I hope you enjoyed hearing the stories about the pieces. Let me know if you have the habit of upcycling items or if you have the habit of buying upcycled items. I think a big way of sustainability is not only buying from sustainable brands, but also really encouraging the recycling and reusing and repurposing of items. So I was super happy to be able to work with this brand. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on upcycling and I will see you in my next video. Bye.